I'm really surprised we didn't get more emails about this. We sure got a lot of DMs, though. But anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Raven's great Chris McAllister here with another video. And in this video, a very different style of questions from subscribers. But it is an episode of NFL questions from subs. And that's the series where you can ask me any NFL question you want. And we answer it in a video just like this. Now, if you ever want to be a part of it, you can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com. Or for the patrons, appreciate the patrons. Shout out to the patrons. You can send it directly on Patreon. Uh, and this is a very uh, time-sensitive episode. So none of the graphics, none of the questions popping up, none of that little pretty stuff and whatever. We're just getting straight to it with this one. And anyway, um, this question, the only question that we're going to go over in this episode, came from my guy, Nick W. He said... And like I said, I'm surprised more of y'all didn't send this because when I saw that Philip Lindsay was cut, I mean, we got a lot of tweets and like I said, a lot of DMs, but no official questions except from my man's Nick. But I guess everybody probably figured, you know what? I know somebody's going to ask it. Somebody's going to ask. And like Ravens fans, I, I love Ravens fans, man, because somebody even asked, uh, they sent somebody, one, one person sent a DM and I'm not sure if somebody sent an actual email. About when Jason Garrett was cut. One of my guys was like, oh, we need to sign him ASAP. And I was like, hold up, hold up, whoa there. Anyway, um, from my guy Nick, he said, could you see us adding Lindsay since it's evident that Tyson doesn't have a spot on this team? Mm, 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 mm. And that is the sad truth. It's the sad truth. Uh, we have been reminded every single week uh, that Tyson means nothing uh, to these Ravens. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Yet. Nothing. Uh, it was, I mean, I would say last week was just, it made it crystal clear, but it had been crystal clear for the last month. We see it. Like, when you cut, you cut Le'Veon Bell, you don't bring up Nate McCray from the practice squad, you don't add any other running backs, so, and you, your running back, Latavius Murray, it's his first game back being held. He's missed the last, what, two, three games with his injury. So you literally have Devontae Freeman and Latavius Murray, and that's it. So with Devontae Freeman, he's now established himself as the Ravens, their lead back. He's their guy, which it should have been like that from before. But anyway, sometimes, sometimes with Ravens, it's like... It can be frustrating because we can see something as fans and then, you know, and then we, we, we speak on something that we see as fans. But then you, you, of course, you got some of them fans that are like, oh, you, you don't know more than the GMs or the front office or the coaches. You guys don't know what you're talking about. There's a reason why it's like that for the Ravens. There's a reason why this guy is in that position and this guy's not playing. But we still see stuff as fans. But then when the Ravens actually do it. And it works. It's like, wh why wasn't this being done from before? Why not? It's just, uh, it's anyway. Um, so again, like I've said before, as a fan, if you see something and you speak on something, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. And don't let anybody tell you, oh, just because you're a fan, you don't know what you're talking about. No, that's not true. Speak on whatever it is that you see. With the team. Anyway, um, Devontae Freeman is is their lead back now. Uh, and Latavius Murray, they're like short yardage guy. Same role he had before, but not the lead guy anymore. So it should be like that. Um, but Tyson Williams did not get one single carry. Not one single carry at all. Um, but that has been a reoccurring theme for the longest now. And, and just his role. I mean, I can't even call it a role, but... Just he they ain't worried about him. Um and and when John Harbaugh spoke about him two weeks ago when the reporter asked about him, oh so what with Le'Veon Bell being cut, Tyson Williams and Nate McCary. Um and he was just like, Well, to get opportunities, uh you gotta pass protect, you gotta uh be productive, you got and he started naming all these things and it was almost sort of like it almost seemed like a sort of sneak diss at Tyson, but without saying his name. But who knows? Anyway, um, Philip Lindsay. If the Ravens added Philip Lindsay to the running back mix, 
it'd be nice. And again, they they did they check with the Texans on him uh, before the trade deadline. So they tried. Well, at least they talked. I don't know how much they tried because sometimes you, you hear about Ravens talking to all these different teams, and <laughs> you just wonder how much they really tried. But anyway, uh, they talked uh, to the. Did I say the Broncos? They talked to the Texans about Philip Lindsay. Um, but anyway, he would be a nice addition. He would be somebody that would have some juice. He'd be a younger guy. <laughs> what, juice? Younger guy? On the Ravens? at running back right now? Wow, that'd be crazy. Even though they got Tyson Williams. But anyway. Um, my biggest fear, though, if they did add a Philip Lindsay, I wouldn't mind if they added him. But my biggest fear would be how would they distribute the ball? How would they do it? If they added Philip Lindsay, cool. You got a running back that, like I said, got some legs, got some juice and whatnot. But would you go back to what you did both earlier this year and early last year too? To where, all right, you get a carry. Oh, this running back's getting hot? Okay, no, no. Now we got to give this running back a carry because we, we, we got to keep all our backs involved and we got to keep everybody happy. Would you do that? That would be my only problem. Like, say, for instance, if it's a game where Devontae Freeman is hot and he's going, he's going, he's getting these nice yards and these nice runs and whatnot. Then you're like, All right, Latavius, you know you got to get your fair share, too. Oh, okay, Philip Lindsay, you're here, too? All right, Philip Lindsay, you know you, we got to get you involved, too, man. We, we, we got to. Oh, Tyson Williams, you here, too? Mm, no, stay over there. And I, I just, I, I don't, I wouldn't want to see that. Because we, we, we saw that and we've seen that these past couple of years. And it's, that's not it. That's not it. And I, I, I remember somebody in the comment section, they were like, oh, Engraven, what are you talking about, man? Will you let me know what team in the NFL has a clear-cut number one running back? Every team, they share the wealth. Every team, they share carries. Every t no team really has a lead back like that. I said, well... Yeah, teams are they, they they do share the wealth, but you still have a guy who is your primary guy for running the ball. For Ravens, it was clear that it was J.K. Dobbins. Gus Edwards was doing his thing now too, but it's clear that it was J.K. Dobbins. And that one, obviously last year and going into this year was going to be, but then this year, Devontae Freeman. He's taking on that role. Because, again, before it was Latavius, but now it's Devontae Freeman. He took on that role. So you just you, you don't want to fix something that's that's not broken. And now, I, no problem adding more talent. Because that's why I would not have been opposed to Odell Beckham Jr. I know some guy, oh, man, make a bubble. If, if, and, and some people, oh, we, well, offensive line. Well, okay, well, if you got a chance to make one position that much stronger, why not? Why not? It's the same thing with running backs right now with Phillip Lindsay. Is he a necessity for the Ravens? No, he's not. He'd be nice, though, but he ain't no necessity. So I just... I would just be curious as to how uh, they would use him and what the, the, distri the distribution of the ball, how it would be amongst the running backs. Now, uh, another hurdle uh, that the Ravens would have to get over uh, in order to add a Phillip Lindsay would be uh, waivers, the waiver wire. After the bye week, um, every single, um, not the bye week, excuse me, after the trade deadline, every single player that is cut, released, waived, whatever, uh, veteran or not, four years of NFL service or not, again, this is the, uh, to Ravens fans, this is the crazy Terrell Suggs rule that a lot of us just learned when Terrell Suggs got cut from the Cardinals. Um, when, if you're a veteran or not, after the trade deadline, if you get cut, you are subject to waivers. So, in order for a team to get you, um, you have to pass through waivers, now, for Philip Lindsay, I think for the Ravens, their best bet, if they even wanted Philip Lindsay, I don't even really think they will. But, um, well, they did check on him, though. So, actually, though, they could be that. Uh, but if, if they want Philip Lindsay, he wouldn't have to clear through waivers. But if you pick him up on waivers, then you have to take on the remainder of his salary. If you get him, if he clears waivers and you get him as a free agent, then you can determine what his salary is. 
So that's why it's it's always I know Ravens always hope. Oh man, we hope this guy clears waivers because I, if, if if it comes to the waiver wire, I I don't think they would put in a waiver claim for him because they ain't really got much money right now. Um, but if it came to him just being a flat out free agent, then I think they could try to make something happen. Um, but Ravens are. I want to say 29 in the wave of wire. They're they're somewhere low because obviously they have one of the best records uh, in the NFL. Um, So with that, when when you have one of the best records, then you're lowest because the team with the worst record, like the Lions have the number one, they're number one in the wave of wire. I think the Jaguars are like two. I forgot what the rest of the order is, but teams with the worst record, they're at the top. So any player that gets released after the trade deadline, they got first dibs. If they want them, they can get any player that they want to. But the teams at the bottom, they just got to hope that those players clear through waivers. Um, so with Philip Lindsay, we'll know today by four if he clears through waivers. Um, I'm sure there will be an announcement on him. I never saw that announcement on Le'Veon Bell. Uh, but he obviously cleared through waivers because he's not on the team right now. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. So it would not be surprising if uh, if the Ravens did end up getting them. Because, again, like I said, well, I, initially I was like, um, no, probably not. But then you remember, like, yeah, they actually wanted this guy. And Ravens, usually when they want somebody and it doesn't work out the first time, like if they really wanted them and then that player becomes cheap enough and everything ends up working out in their favor, they uh, they they like to make it happen. See, guys like Yannick and Gakwe, uh, even though it just didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Uh, you see, guys like uh, Justin Houston. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll see what happens with Philip Lindsay. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and just like Philip Lindsay is uh, officially when it comes to being with the Houston Texans, uh, I'm out.